She is the oldest ship in the Royal Canadian Navy and training ground for thousands of young sailors. And today, several generations of the crew of HMCS Oriel came back to CFB Esquimalt to celebrate her Diamond Jubilee, 60 years of Navy service. And CTV's Andrew Johnson shows us they took a sail down memory lane aboard a very tough teacher. Two, six, Two, six, the crew of HMCS Oriel hoists her main sail and the pressure is on. Some of the young crew that we have on today, the six guys, this is their first time ever sailing uh, on Oriel. They've been on board for about three days. So uh, they did some learning very quickly. Uh, it's a sort of trial by fire this, this afternoon. That's the way tens of thousands of sailors have learned leadership and teamwork aboard the Oriel since she was commissioned in 1952. They need to develop a little bit of courage and a little bit of um, self-discipline, and that gets thrown at you a bit like a fire hose down your throat. One, two, three. Several generations of her crew have returned for a reunion on land and at sea to celebrate Oriel's Diamond Jubilee and 91st birthday. There's even a special edition coin cast with the ship's original brass. She was built by George Horace Gooderham as a private yacht in a very different time. Gooderham's great-granddaughter explains. They would swim and fish off the deck, but if there was anything official going on like a sail past, all the women had to go below. The tall ship was later donated to the Navy and now serves as a floating ambassador. It sends a signal to every mariner who sees the Oriole operate that this is a professional, world-class Navy that comes from a great country. See that little red line right there where that cleat is? As the current crew trains, the sailors of decades past look on with a knowing smile. Whenever anything comes up with the Oriole, I come back. And uh, I look at the coxswain right now and I, I wish I was in his place again. It, it made you uh, from a young man into a man. Earlier this year, HMCS Oriel underwent an extensive refit and will welcome, then harden, many more eager new recruits. You breathe in that beautiful salt air. I mean, what more could you really want? Aboard HMCS Oriel, Andrew Johnson, CTV News.